Hey everyone, welcome to Monktoberfest. I'm here with Rafe Colburn. Uh, Rafe is with Etsy, and I'm about to present him with this beautiful bottle of Allagash Curio, an ale aged in oak bourbon barrels bottle. <laughs> so, Rafe, this is your speaker's present for the talk you gave this morning. Can you give us a quick synopsis of what it was you spoke about? Uh, sure thing. So, I've been at Etsy about nine months, and my talk was really about what I've learned in those nine months at Etsy. So, just for anyone who's unaware, Etsy? Uh, so Etsy is a marketplace for handcrafted goods and vintage goods. We have about 750,000 active sellers uh, and we'll probably sell about a billion dollars worth of merchandise this year. So a bit like eBay. Yeah, uh, eBay, for, eBay for Tweet People is what I put on my slide. It's from the Brooklyn paper. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's basic business model. It's similar to eBay, but uh, we have a lot of policies on the marketplace to sort of winnow it down to only people who are making the things that they're selling. Oh, nice. And your talk? Uh, so my talk was kind of about uh, uh, working at a company that is operating at a large scale and is scaling upward very rapidly and the sort of pains from a developer's perspective that you go through uh, in dealing with that sort of the scaling considerations uh, and how some of the engineering practices we have at Etsy, uh, which has a really kind of well-known and uh, strong engineering culture, how we mitigate those things so that, uh, so that basically it's not painful to be a developer even though we're doing all this crazy stuff to just try and serve the number of customers we have. So Rafe, uh, what are some of the ways people can avoid the you know, Twitter fail whale? Yeah, so the biggest thing that we do, uh, and it's more about avoiding the sort of like unproductive developer thing, like we, we avoid the Twitter fail whale and the, I guess, the unproductive developer problem by uh, mainly through continuous deployment. We push to the website 30 times a day on average. Uh, so all developers are constantly building things and pushing them whether they're done or not, and then we have some clever ways so that they don't break things when they do that. Uh, so it's really about kind of maintaining velocity and let developers be coding when they want to be coding. Excellent. And Rafe, if anyone wants to see your talk, we'll have it online, and the link will be at the end of this video. Thanks very much. Okay, thank you.